guys. So many of you guys asked me if I believe in God. Or if I worship God because I'm gay, being, I'm gay and everybody says you're going to go to hell. But yes, I do worship Jesus. Um, And my relationship with God is a lot closer. Um, Now, in October of 2012... I was in a very bad car accident, as many of you guys know. Um, many people say, oh, it wasn't ba that bad, it wasn't that bad, blah, blah, blah. Police and the ambulance, sorry, I'm not feeling very good. Um, police and the ambulance and everything says that I probably should not have walked away from that accident. But, the Lord did not let the airbags go off. Which I think that is the only reason why I walked away from that accident. Okay. And for those of you that don't know about my accident, I'm going to put video, I'm going to put, not a video, but <coughs> I'm going to put picture previous, like after this video. Okay. So, I thank the Lord every day that I'm still alive to this day. I question him. I, I, I really do, I question him, and I say, why did he spare me? Why did he let me live? Why didn't he take me? What, what does he have, um, on this earth for me? Um, because I <coughs> would like, I would like to know, um, what he has on this earth for me. Um, and why... But all I know is he left me on this earth. And that's what I'm thankful for. Okay. Today is March 11th of 2013. On, it is Monday. On Friday, my brother-in-law was in a very bad car accident. Um... Which I'll put video, or I'll put pictures of his car too. He was in a very bad car accident. And me and my sister had just gotten a truck on Monday of last week. So a week ago Monday, a week ago today. And he said, hey, I need to take the truck back to work so I can take all my gear. And we were like, no, 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 no. And then finally, I was just like, yes, you can take it. And he got into a really bad car accident. And I think that it was God saying, you need to take the truck. This is going to happen, and you need to take the truck. So, he took the truck. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to lay down. He took the truck and everything. <coughs> oh. Ugh. As far as I got out. He took the truck and everything. And was in this really, really bad car accident. And should not have walked away. But he did. With very minor. With very minor bruising. And very minor scratches. Okay. So the Lord was watching over him. And my faith for the Lord. Is so much more now that he's not only spared my life but spared my brother-in-law's life and helped my brother-in-law basically stay alive to this day and I I don't know how to explain to you guys I really don't how I've gotten so much closer to the Lord since my accident, and just the fact that my accident, my sister was in the car with me, my niece was in the car with me, and I just think, why did he spare us? Why did he spare us? Why did he, you know, um, sorry, I'm not trying to cover you guys, but, um, I just, I just, I'm like, why did he spare us? Um, but I'm gonna po put some pictures of my car right now, and then I will be back to talk a little bit more about 
everything else. Okay, so hey guys, I'm back. Um, so that was my, that was my Honda Civic. Um, it, it was pretty bad. Um, I shouldn't have walked away from it. I did. We all did. Um, and I just, I just thank the Lord to this day. I thank the Lord, um, that he spared my life, my sister's life, my niece's life. But then I question him all the time. I'm like, why? Why? Why did you spare my life? Why did you... Why did you spare my life? Why didn't you let me die in that accident? Why am I still alive? What do you have for me in my life that you have... For me, like, what do you have going for me? Like, I would like to know. But I'm so thankful that he spared my life. And now, these next few pictures are going to be in my brother's car. And I will be back. Okay, so hey guys, I'm back. Um, that was my brother-in-law's car. Or, well, that was mine and my sister's truck. The one that my brother-in-law was driving. If he would have been in his Mazda, which I'll put at the end of this video. If he would have been in his Mazda, he would have been dead, you guys. Um, and I thank the Lord that he says no. Like, he gave me my sister a change of heart and said no. Take the truck. Take the truck. Um... I really do, um, and I think, I, I thank him to this day, I really do, but, um, my faith has became so much more with the Lord now that I've been in that accident, and my brother-in-law has been in the accident, than it was, sorry, than it was ever before, um, with the Lord. I'm so much closer to the Lord. I pray. I, you know, ask the Lord for help when I need help, when I don't know where I'm going in life. Um, but I really do. So I'm going to put the picture of the Mazda that he could have been driving, you guys. And I just thank the Lord. And many, many people ask me all the time, why are, are you close, blah, blah, blah. But yes, I'm very... Very close to the Lord. Now, you guys, you have no idea how close I am to the Lord now that he spared my life in that accident that I was in. <laughs> 